doing back thickness and bicep day. One of my favorite days of the week. We're gonna do about two heavy back movements, followed by three or four heavy bicep movements. We're gonna go from 15 to 12, from 12 to 10, and then to eight. All right, so we'll put the quarter on, then three plates, then three and a quarter. Let's do it. That's about right. Let's do it. I did something wrong. Anytime you're in a gym and you want to feel more intensity, don't just put the plate on, okay? Don't put the plate on. You got to slam the plate. That's how you bring out the intensity. Everything's heavy. Conrad's about 295 pounds right now, so it's hard to keep up. Come on. Yeah. Two tips on this machine, or any lap pull down for that instance. It's number one, use your hands as hooks. All right, I don't like to use a thumb grip. I like to hook my hands and focus on driving down my elbow. The lower I go with the elbow, the more contraction I get to my lap. are doing the chest supported T-bar row. The focus here is to build that back thickness, um, the mid upper back, the traps, and really get these thick juicy lats. What we're doing here is we're trying to keep our core tight, brace our core. We're trying not to lift our chest off the pad. That's why we're doing a chest support and just drive back with those elbows. That's a common theme here. guys is progressive overload. Progressive overload is a fancy word for as the weight goes up, our repetitions come down. So we start light, 15 reps. We go medium, 12 to 10 reps. Then we go heavy, six to eight reps. Cable row, close grip attachment is next. <laughs> Train like 14 times a week. I used to do those twice a day workouts. I don't know what was, what was in my head. Now looking back, I would never ever do that again. Yeah, Two heavy workouts a day I used to do. You're, Crazy. You're pumping gave you what you got now. Yeah, you but who knows out. what I could have been if I took some rest. Yeah. Uh, you know, I might have been a different creature. Who knows? You're still pretty good in my book. But you can't <laughs> tell, you can't tell a teenager like not to do more, you know? Teenagers they want to do more. So the way we're training right now is we use a system I'm called periodization. So we'll keep the same exercises for four weeks. Each week we're gradually <laughs> gonna build up our strength. And once we get to our strongest, we're gonna totally switch up our workouts and start building on the next strength. After four weeks of that, we periodize 
and then do a different exercise. So we're constantly never letting the body settle and never getting used to not one movement. And it's like eating vanilla ice cream every day. So people that stick to the same workout, you're eating vanilla, 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 vanilla. Sometimes you want chocolate. Sometimes you want strawberry. So always switch things up, keep things interesting and keep things fun. happens overnight guys nothing happens overnight it's gonna take a lot of mornings like this waking up early when it's dark out driving to the gym when you don't feel like driving to the gym eating the food when you don't feel like eating the food and lifting the weight even when you don't feel like it but uh, this doesn't happen in a matter of a year or two years this is a marathon it takes an accumulation of years six seven eight nine ten years in order to hit that physique that you're chasing chickens about six chickens a day it's gonna come out to like seventy dollars a day of food sixty thousand chickens sixty thousand chickens times 365 days in a year it's a lot of chickens all right conrad ten yeah ten baby ten ten last back movement we're done with the back give me 240 fuck it okay okay my friend Yes, sir. Eight to ten, he said. We're gonna work up three to four sets. That's the warm up. And then we're gonna strip. Yeah, that's the warm up. So it's gonna be three to four sets, eight to ten, and then we strip the last one. Yeah. Steps could never be big enough. Ever. Ever. Every inch matters in biceps and elsewhere. Use your imagination. Strip set, also called a drop set. Great way to increase workout intensity especially when you're in a crunch for time. So what that means is essentially you're gonna be working your way up in weight. Let's say it's 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, and then back down with zero to minimal rest in between sets. training partner comes into play you look at things like the strength the struggle the speed in order to determine how many reps and sets or when exactly to drop so it takes somebody that knows you quite a bit all right next is seated dumbbell curl oh my God. three to four sets for Hallelujah. eight to ten reps is 
the bicep actually grows on the way down. Biceps don't grow from here to here. They grow from here to here. So at the bottom of the movement, flex your triceps in order to elongate that bicep tendon even more. So at the bottom here, flex triceps and then pull. Down, stretch triceps, pull. Biggest fan. My biggest fan. Well, what do you like about me? Is it the hair? Is it the good looks? Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Now I got a question the other day. Is it okay to train on empty stomach? Yes, it's 100% okay to train on empty stomach. But if you're training for goals similar to mine, it's good to have some kind of fuel in the gas tank. And the traditional bodybuilding meal is eggs and oatmeal. I am so sick and tired of eggs and oatmeal that I actually switch it up. So my breakfast this morning, four ounces of steak, four egg whites, and eight ounces of red potato. So when you're looking for a pump, oatmeal doesn't give you that pump like a starchy carb, like a potato does in the morning. So if you're searching for that pump, try my steak, egg, and potato before you train. All right, we're doing hands inside the hips and two second hold at a time. Bicep piece. Scott knows. Anticipating and fueling up with his next meal for his next workout. All right, easy bar reverse curl. What we're doing here is building a brachialis muscle. Brachialis is the side of the bicep. If you want big arms, start focusing more on hammer curls and reverse curls. All right, that's all she wrote, guys. That was your back thickness and bicep thickness day, my favorite day. That's what we do every Thursday. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps me deliver great content to you guys like this. Peace out. To freak out when you see these biceps, okay? When you see these, don't freak out. Don't be scared. Yo, we're shooting a movie.